With an equal pay ruling, the Birmingham City Council will now have to pay to 174 employees who have claimed they were discriminated against male staff. The issue uncovered in 2007-2008 shows thousands of workers submitted their claims, but none of them approved. They'd have given us what we, we were entitled to in the beginning. They wouldn't have had the court cases, the three court cases they had, which cost them a lot of money, obviously, you know. But no, they tried to fight it. Uh, we've done everything, really, you know. And it wasn't an easy job. And we went out Christmas Day, uh, Boxing Day. Whenever they wanted us, we just went. We never argued. We dropped everything and used to it. And we, we worked hard there. We worked really hard. It wasn't an easy job. But we, lo we did it because we loved it as well, you know. And um, how they've treated us, it was abominable for 25 years, and Pam's done more than that. The Birmingham City Council have to pay 757 million for their rehabilitation to conditional female workers. The remaining amount that the council still has to pay out is estimated into 60 million and has to be saved by 2017. Councillor leader Sir Albert Ball refused to give the exact number of the people who submit claims, and he said that the equal pay ruling had left to the council in a horrendous position financially. In order to pay the 757 million pound dividend to the female workers, the council might have to close social facilities such as the museums and the libraries. We did school trips and stuff to the museum, so I'll say that's kind of a, if you close that down, that's kind of a bad thing because then no one would know what was ever in the museum and the city of Birmingham. Personally, I don't think it's a good idea because the young people need somewhere to go. There will be a few effects, but I think equal pay is uh, more important than the cuts. The equal pay thing, um, historically, male workers with local authorities, not just Birmingham, have been able to negotiate um, bonuses over and above their basic pay. Women, historically, have not been able to do that. And that's because a lot of the trade unions are male-dominated, a lot of the councils historically have been male dominated and there is a greater value put on work done predominantly by men. With both sides still arguing in the courts, the legal process is still ongoing.